So the first uh, march was organised by a friend of mine, Janelle, who's not here today, um, and she did that last year. Um, and then, but we were a few people there who wanted to go to another event and keep this movement going, so we just thought, well, let's just go to a beach and enjoy the sun, really. Last year was the first year of Free the Nipple New, Ze New Zealand, yeah. I mean, of course, people have been going topless in New Zealand and beaches around New Zealand for a long time, but it's the first time that we've tried to take um, the movement that started by um, Lena Esco and a movement in the US called uh, GoTopless.org. Women, uh, women's nipples in our society are sexualized. Um, it's not equal between men and right uh, between men and women. They don't have the same rights here, and women often don't really have control over their bodies and how people get to see their nipples. Um, yeah, you need to remind people that women's nipples are belong belong to women, and they can choose when to take their tops off and when not to take their tops off, and that's really totally up to them and doesn't involve men. Like I grew up from a young age with my body getting sexualized, even though it's. It's, we're exactly the same as men, but we just have breast tissue, but breasts aren't a sexual organ. Like, I find that I can't wear what I want to wear without my body getting sexualized. Like, visual comparisons on social media with um, a male and a female sitting next to each other, but the woman's nipples are censored, even though um, they look exactly the same. Yeah, but with our march a couple of weeks ago, um, we found that a lot of parents um, like kind of shy their children away from us. If you're shying children away from this, you're subjecting them to this sexualization. So from a young age, they're gonna look at women's bodies as a sexual thing instead of just being human. Yeah, my parents are pretty supportive. I don't think they're supportive enough to come to one of these events, but um, like they're happy to talk to me about it and like give moral support, I think. Like we just kind of ask that you put an effort to like read our flyers and try to understand what we're trying to do. And back in the 80s when I was uh, a teenager, uh, topless sunbathing was never an issue. It was on most, just about all beaches in New Zealand and no one batted an eyelid, no one really cared. Um, it's not for me to tell people what to do. You know, I, I agree with what they're doing, it's equality of women, it's about equal rights and it's about the rights of the public. And I say to all the Chinese viewers, we have Ladies Bay, which is a clothing optional nudist beach for the public. You don't have to go nude, but it's a great place to get a suntan and enjoy and swim. Just觉得还挺惊讶的，然后呃，不知道会不会真的有人这么做，就是至少我是不排斥这种做法的，肯定不会吧？对，我们的思想可能还是相对传统一些。